Hi everyone and welcome to this quick demonstration. Um, my name is DJ and I'd like to show you in the next couple of minutes how easy it is to use the core system by Native Instruments uh, to build a basic channel strip. And I'd say let's get started. Okay, so in my Core 2 FX right now there's nothing, just a blank new performance. So let's start and put something into my channel strip. So let's move to the input channel. The plugin receives the filter drum beat audio and it might process it. And uh, what I do is now right click on the blank one and I'd like to choose some of the internal effects that come with the core system. And I think for a basic channel strip let's just start with a bit of saturation. So I just choose the cabinet saturator and um, as you can see right below here we can see all the available options for the cabinet saturator from the mix or the drive up to the final volume and um, since we just want to have a spice of it I'd say we just move the mix down to a tiny bit give it a bit of a drive overload the system, tilt it a bit, okay, as you can see the plug-in input is a bit high, so I'm going to reduce that one a bit, just to avoid any overloading. Right, so this would be first step of the channel strip, now let's add something more to it, we have a bit of saturation, now what every basic channel strip really really needs is some kind of equalizer, once again, I'm going to the Native Instruments Core Journal Effects and I choose the Parametric Equalizer. Alright, as you can see, four bands, low shelf, mid, mid two and high shelf. And I'm um, just going to check the frequencies and you can see, if I try to change the frequency right here, if I want to really know what I'm doing there is can take a look at right at the top you can see of the currently selected button what is the real number behind that one so if I turn that one you can see the frequency number is changing I can also look at this one one of the controls that is currently mapped to that one you can see if I move them both of them move and um, as long as I'm, I'm at the active control button I can also see the real data value that I'm changing right here in the display section. So let's keep a low, yeah, let's keep a low frequency of uh, 80 hertz. Um, we have a mid band frequency of about 300. That's good. A mid band two at about 3,000, and a high band of oh 8,190. That sounds nice. So let's stick with that one and move to the next thing that we need in our simple channel strip which is an easy compressor once again from the internal effects I just add that one and as you might have noticed is the audio from my drum loop is getting into the input channel and is basically vertically moving through all my effects so it starts at the cabinet saturator goes to the parametric equalizer and into the easy compressor okay so let's take a look at the easy compressor change the threshold, the ratio, attack times and release times, can add a look ahead and the output gain. Let's just make it for a mid time and a bit of a release time. Okay. Right, so much for the compressor. And now just to spice things up a bit, what I would like to do is add a bit of reverb. Instead of just putting the reverb in the standard input chain, just use it as a send effect. So what I do is I'm adding the group channel and taking once again a look at the internal effects. I think there's an easy reverb. There we are. Right. And with the easy reverb, you can see there's a mix, there's a pre-delay, there's a size. Okay, so everything basically is required for us, so I'll just add a bit of pre-delay. Um, 
gonna move the mix to 100%. So I'm mixing dry and wet, and you probably will find out soon why I do that. Um, to get some of my audio into the group channel, I have to assign it right here, moving, selecting the input channel, going to the first auxiliarian bus and select that I want to send my audio in addition to sending it to the master channel to the first group channel. Okay, this is the volume that I want gonna send into it. You can switch between pre and post and even between the balance and the stereo field. So selected group number two. If I click on the group as you can see in my audio input bus I get the audio 